Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. And right now I will be carving this bluish green stone. I believe this stone is about a seven or harder on the hardness scale. I don't think that it's turquoise. I would bet my money that it's not. I would also bet that this is not Amazonite. Perhaps some kind of jasper. Right here, there's some steel that was perhaps marked on the stone as a test. Or perhaps that's from some kind of saw. Either way, this is an awesome stone. I'm going to take it to the flat lab first to trim up some of this brown, shape it a little bit, and then onto the grinder. Awesome. See you in the studio. All right, folks, I'm at my little flat lap here. I'm going to take this stone to the 46 grit, rough all this stuff out, the mysterious blue-green stone. Also off camera, I'm going to finish these little pieces of lapis and amethyst. Alright folks, here's my preform. Took off just a wee bit more than I wanted to, but this is going to be a fantastic piece nonetheless. Whatever this is, I paid one or two dollars for it. Very nice material, real tough. It's going to polish just fine, I believe. I'm going to finish these up and then see you folks at the Lapidary Grinder. Alright folks, I'm here at the old Easy Cab with my mysterious blue-green stone preform. I'm going to take it to the 80 grit hard rail. Mostly just tighten up the sides. Then to my 220. All right, folks, that's my 80 grit grind. Straighten up the sides, fantastic piece. This thing is huge, beautiful, beautiful stone. Anyway, on to my 220 where I will further tighten up the sides, lick the face, perhaps slightly dome the top too. All right, folks, that's looking pretty darn good. It looks like that darker, the darker material, it's like a crust and it grinds right off to this lighter blue. I'm gonna try to farm for that material here. I'm gonna try to work that, that color out. But if it all doesn't come out, I'm fine with that. 
I'm going to go on to the 280 hardware, I mean, excuse me, 280 software now. Alright folks, I've said it once and I'm saying it here again. On most six-wheeled machines, combo units, the 280, the, the jump between 220 hard and 280 soft always takes the longest. I truly believe I'm gonna replace this 80, put a move the 220 over and put a 320 and then jump back down to the 280 just so I can get that scratch out. Once I get those 280 scratches out, it's all downhill from there. On to the 600. This is my final shape. The 600 will be the beginning of my polish. Okay folks, this is my 600 grit polish. This stone is slowly trading in some greens for a lot more baby blue, some robin egg blue. This stone reminds me a lot of African turquoise, although I would almost guarantee that this is not African turquoise. Anyone who knows African turquoise knows that it's a jasper. Anyway, on to the 1200. Alright folks, that is the 1200 grit finish, dry, fantastic, this is the other side, the side is wet, onto the 3000, the stone's taking a little bit longer than most, but I'm very much enjoying it, I do have to hurry up though, for turkey time, anyway, Okay folks, here's a quick glimpse of that finished beauty. Amazing gemstone. Whatever this is. Fantastic. I'm going to take it inside, give it some of the attention it deserves. Alright folks, here's that stone fresh off the grinder. This is an amazing stone. It looks a lot like turquoise, but much harder. Robin egg blue. Darker up here at the tip. She's a singer. Real solid. Took a fantastic polish. This piece is going to be a bead. 
However, I'm all out of bits for my water swivel. I believe I'm going to drill her up here. Maybe finish it, make a pendant out of it. It's a pretty big stone, about as big as my pointer finger. Fantastic stone. Anyway, as soon as I get some information on this, I'll be sure to update my video. It is Turkey Day. So I did this as fast as I could. Fantastic. This is Lapidary Dave. I hope you enjoyed. This is one of the best pieces I've ever carved. Fantastic. Have a great day. See you next time.